Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. Isn't it tantalising that the one reference we have to Jesus uh, writing anything uh, was to him writing in the dust on the ground so that none of his written words were kept for posterity. And yet perhaps that was the whole point. Jesus was just writing in the sand, not in order to hand something on to his followers in future generations. The Gospel writers have preserved his words for us. But to give him space, himself space, uh, to think. You know the story in John's Gospel. You know the woman who's been taken in adultery and brought by a vengeful crowd uh, to Jesus. Uh, and the crowd are, uh, are urging Jesus to uh, rush to judgment, to pronounce judgment upon her. A judgment that could have resulted in her being stoned to death. And what does Jesus do? He stoops down and writes in the ground. And when they keep on uh, questioning him, uh, he does the same. And then eventually, uh, he straightens up and says, let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone. We lead incredibly busy lives and quite often people are rushing, uh, trying to persuade us to rush to judgment, uh, to declare a view uh, about something, to condemn somebody or to, um, uh, to, to make a hurried decision. One of the things I've learnt over the years of being a priest is that there are times when we need to uh, stoop down and write in the sand, to just take time to, to think and to ponder before giving an answer. And this passage for me gives me a real encouragement that Jesus uh, did just the same. So I wonder what difficult decision you might be wrestling with at the moment. Or maybe you've got somebody really pushing you to, uh, to uh, uh, take a stand about something or to condemn something or to, to make a decision about something and you just need a bit more space. Maybe also, it's not just you who need a bit more space. Maybe it's the people who are all het up and worked up about something need to just calm down and as Jesus writes in the sand so the crowd find they have to wait and calm down and the tension uh, subsides until that moment when Jesus thoughts are clear and he's ready to share a word from the Father. In an instant age where our thoughts, however unformed, can be distributed to everybody instantly by social media, and where it's so easy to post something that we later regret. Perhaps today, let's take time to write in the sand, to pause, to think, before we rush to judgment. <laughs>